You know, I've noticed you haven't been wearing that thing a lot lately. Hmm? If I were to throw my two cents in, I'd say it's because you've been more open to your peers. You seem to be doing well with others and socializing more. That's good. Like I said before, it's healthy for you to socialize. Made any friends yet? I, uh, I hang out with people sometimes. I still don't know what to talk with him about, though. So, I feel like I come off as rude. In time, you'll get used to it. Takes practice, you know? Gotta get out more. Speaking of which, you're getting all fixed up. Heading out? I was gonna let you know by putting the bat sticker up, but since you're here, yeah, I'm gonna be going out. Again? This is the third time this week you've gone out this time of night. That's kinda ballsy, even for you. Well... That's because I've noticed that all the other agents tend to leave when it's your part of the shift. Otherwise, it's you and a few agents tailing me. Ha! Huh. Observant, I see. Truth be told, most of the other guys trust me to do my job correctly, so I can see why they get lazy when I'm around. Especially during the night shift. Those slackers get tired from watching you all day, and some go home. That's what I figured. You've got a smart head on your shoulders. But let me be honest with you, kid. Starting today, security became increased around this building as of late. Some story in the news has your dad paranoid. About what? Dunno. But because of that, I'm worried. It's easy for me to cover during the day. You have a reason to go out because of school. Plus, if you're caught by another agent talking to someone, I can step in and help you. A night. There's no reason for you to be out. You're leaving the rope out on your balcony, and that's gonna get you caught. If you're caught in the night shift by anyone who isn't me, it's gonna be over, kid. No. I don't want to lose this. <sighs> Alright, listen up. We're gonna to have to put a curfew on you from now on. Huh? The rope is gonna sell you out, kid. So here's the deal. You leave the way you normally do with the rope. Once you're gone, I'll pretend to do a final checkup on you and pull up the rope. You'll have three hours only to go out. At which point, I'll come back and drop the rope down for five minutes, then do a sweep around the building. If you aren't back and the rope isn't pulled up five minutes after the three hours is up, then I'll have to pull it up myself. What if I don't make it back in time? Then you can kiss what freedom you have goodbye. I'm already putting myself at risk by doing this. I can't give you any more. I'm sorry, kid, but... No, I, I understand. I'm not gonna lose what I have. I'll make sure to be back on time. Hey, <laughs> that's the spirit. See you in three hours, then. So, good to see you again. <laughs> Same to you, Jenny. Did I just say that? Ugh. So, you come to the mall often? No, not really. Oh, um, well, I mean, uh, what kind of clothes do you like? Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, sorry for asking. You don't have to like any clothes if you don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I like hoodies. I'm making this awkward. Quick, just say something fast. I think you don't have to wear any clothes to look good. <laughs> did I just say that aloud? Huh? Where did he go? Huh? 
F, you okay? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, sorry, just phasing out a bit. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering because you look kind of zoned out. Anything on your mind? I mean, I've got a lot going on. <laughs> like what? Homework and uh stuff. Anything I can do to help? You look really upset. I, I do. <laughs> nah. Hey guys. Yo, Diana. Good to see you, girl. Sorry we're late. The bus took longer than I thought. The bus? You know you could have walked here. That's what I told her. I just enjoy taking a bus ride sometimes. Besides, soccer killed my legs today. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. No idea how you do it, Kathy. You have so much energy. Where do you find the time to even manage those soccer meetups? I find ways. <laughs> So you're in the organization of the community? Um, yeah. For what purposes? To have fun? That's what they all say. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Diana. Excited to shop? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure what I want to get, but... Hey! Excuse me, we were... So, Kathy, who are we waiting for? Political and... No one. I think Diana was the last person to show up. We should get going, and... Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Mac again? Betty! What? I didn't invite him. Oh right, sorry, I should have said something before. I invited Mac along. Oh man, you really should have asked. That's fine, we don't mind. Are you sure? Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Jenny. <sighs> She's making her moves. I know. All right, casual hangout day is go. Let's go check out the shops and stuff. Diana, wait. What's up, Ken? Something tells me that the person who sent you the note is someone in this friend group. What? Why? I don't know, I just feel it. I'm gonna be observing everyone as we go. Ken, I don't think it's anyone here. No one acts malicious. Just be aware. I'm going to try and infiltrate the group. Ken. <sighs> All right. I appreciate the help. Just don't be dumb, okay? Way ahead of you. Should I go be next to her? Uh, what if she thinks I'm too needy? She's alone, so now's my chance! Ugh, never mind. Find any interesting books? Yeah, a few. How about you? I have some new cookbooks. I'm excited to try new recipes. Cool! Could I try them with you someday? Sure. Oh, another cookbook! Hey, Betty. Yeah? Have you heard any rumors about me? Rumors? Um, no. Not really. Really? Yep. Even if there were rumors, I've got more important things to focus on. This is college, not high school. Can rumors start in college? Yep. But that's usually done by petty people who need to grow up. Just ignore them. They'll get bored and find someone else to bother. It's hard to ignore. Oh my gosh, a fried ice cream recipe book! I didn't realize these existed! Can I see? I want to talk to him and find out what he thought about my note. But I'm too scared to talk to him still. Rejection scares me! <sighs> Alright, fine. I didn't want to offer this. But if you need help, I don't mind going to ask him for you. Really? Really. That's what friends are for, right? I mean, the guy is still weird to me, but I can try. Oh! I don't mind helping either. Betty? I mean, I've talked with Aaron about food multiple times. I consider myself pretty close to him. I mean, Betty could. Ah, but she might just talk about food the whole time! I mean, that's a possibility. Just... Ah, I'll do it! You go, Jenny! So, 
books, huh? Yeah. Why am I so awkward? So, you're pretty popular these days, huh? What do you mean? I mean, everyone in class is starting to notice you. You're smart and kind enough to help people with their work. I wouldn't say everyone's noticing me. It's just the people around me. Still, that's something compared to last year. Huh? I mean, you were so quiet last year, didn't talk to anyone, and now you're hanging out with us. It's just new, and I'm glad you're more open. I'm still getting used to it. Well, it looks good on ya. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Aaron, guess what my favorite store is? Hmm? Uh, I'm not sure. Just guess. I, uh, don't want to guess and get it wrong. Hot topic? I kind of thought. That's wrong. I mean, I don't want to assume. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll relax. I was just teasing you. Everyone assumes I like Hot Topic because of my dark style of clothing, and I do. But I really like Claire's more. Really? Yep. The jewelry is a nice compliment. Plus, it's less expensive for more items in comparison. Wow. I didn't know that. Just an interesting fact about me. She's trying to make a move on him. I just know it. You are right? You've been kind of quiet all night. <laughs> and you've been talking to everyone. Kind of opposite for us, huh? I'm glad, though. You seem to be making new friends. I mean, I'm trying. I still feel like I'm awkward around everyone. You've always been awkward. I'm teasing you! You just come off as really mature, and that's not a bad thing. F, are you really okay? I'm just having a hard time getting used to being away from home, yeah! Just really, just that. Here. Huh? A hug. Will that help? <laughs> I'd love to. People are watching me. As much as I'd love to hug him, if I do, and someone sees. I'm just bored, that's all. Oh, um. Wanna play a game with me then? Come on, my treat. Um, I mean. Hey, awesome. I was thinking of playing it too. Really? Yeah. We could make it a competition. I got first round versus you. Oh, yeah. That'd be fine. I'll go get the change. What? Uh, nothing. Just nothing. Why did she look at me like that? Wait. Could she know about me? Maybe she... You got lucky! <laughs> My turn! Um, I think Af was next. Af? That's right, she was... Wait, what time is it? It's 8.45. Why? I'm sorry, I, I have to be somewhere. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, he's definitely into werewolf chicks. If you like him, you should really know more about him. Just saying. Was that a threat? Just saying I've known him for longer, that's all. That doesn't make him yours, you know. Wait, this chick, she's acting so hostile. Could she be the one that... I'm so sorry, I, I have to go. Don't be so pouty, okay? Hey, you're not my dad. What's that supposed to mean? I'm sorry, but we'll talk more later. Just try to be happy. Okay? I am. 
trust me. <laughs> I'll see you later, F. Night. Night, Aaron. Ugh, she's so close with him. I need to keep an eye on her. At least until I can make my move. I can't let F. Mao get too close to him. Jenny Diana must, must have sent, sent me that, that note. note. It's definitely Diana or F. Mao. She's been getting close to Aaron all night, and that note was about him. Then that look? Could it be her? The stare she gave me was so cold. I think I'm gonna be sick. Did you eat too much? No. I haven't eaten enough. I need a sandwich! Stat! I'm on it! <sighs> Made it back in time. I wonder if she's really okay.